Hello everybody, David here, Purchasing Manager at Martin Lynch and Sons, Mike Zero TPT. And today we've got Matt, who's going to introduce something quite special. If you haven't heard of Loops on the Ground, because I know they've been very popular as late, yep. um, what we're going to do, we're going to show you one that Matt's company uh, produces, Omni RF, and we're going to go through some use cases and what benefits it can bring um, to your radio experience. So first of all, Matt, welcome along. Thank you very Good much. To see you. Yeah, great to be here. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about the business and then we'll we'll talk a little bit about the okay. products. No problem at all. So Omni RF, I make um, low noise kind of specialist receive antennas uh -huh. mainly for HF. Uh, I do a few other small accessories and things, but I mainly focus on increasing the receive performance of your urban station. Gotcha. So that's generally what we do as, as, as a company. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And um, what product are we going to be talking about today? Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Loop on Ground antenna, which is a great antenna for um, resolving noise issues if you're suffering from high noise on the HF bands. So we all suffer, most of us suffer, should I say, we all suffer from a little bit of noise at home, some more uh, than others. And it's all well and good being able to get out and uh, you know using a little bit of power. Uh, as I like to use, yeah. but if you can't hear them, you cannot work them. Um, so hopefully for some of the viewers that are listening, this could be an option for you. Um, you won't believe how it works, you, re you really won't. And I'm lucky enough to have one, I've been using it at home, and I don't have too much noise, but I'm hearing more and it's becoming a little bit easier. Yeah. And we, we'll, we'll go on to explain how we set it up and uh, just what you can do with uh, certain transceivers um, by having the diversity in, in, in e each year when you're wearing your headphones. So I'm just gonna grab said product. I'll give that to you to hold. Super. So talk us through the product then and okay. what we've got right there. No problem at all. So uh, I produce a uh, 3D printed box mm -hmm. which is made out of a material called ASA. So it's a bit tougher than ABS, um, the kind of standard plastic that you mm -hmm. get inside a vehicle. Uh, it has high UV resistance as well, so it will sit out in the sun and not degrade. A lot of um, cheaper 3D print products, they'll they'll deform in the sun or the UV okay. will attack them and they'll change color. So this, uh, this doesn't do this. Late, so it's, <laughs> it's been quite hot, yes. Thing. Um, and then inside this, we have uh, a custom made PCB. Mm -hmm. And on that PCB, we have a fully isolated nine to one transformer. Uh, with a special ferrite core in there, okay. uh, which is a 77 mix ferrite core. Mm -hmm. So not your standard 43 that a lot of people will, if you're trying to make one yourself, you'll buy a little 43 core. The ones in here are much bigger, much beefier, gotcha. more turners on them. And then on the outside, we have uh, A2 stainless steel hardware, marine grade stainless steel. Yeah. So really quality stuff, never yeah. gonna rust, never gonna corrode. And we have a high quality connector on it as well. Brilliant, and what makes that a little bit different to most of the other loops on the ground that are on the market so the thing that makes this most different from the other loops on the ground on the market is going to be the transformer mm -hmm. so the mix of the cores that i use in there the 77 mix with a little tweak to it as well <laughs> uh, my secret sauce in there <laughs> secret uh, sauce, and I the like number it. of windings that are on as well sure so this produces that the, the reason that i use that transformer is it gives us the least amount of loss through the okay. system here um, it's also fully isolated so the loop terminals here Right. are actually physically not connected to the coax terminal here. So it's a completely isolated oh, wow. transformer. So there's no DC continuity across this device. Oh, okay. It's all done with magnetic magic. And t what, tell me about the magnetic magic then. How, how does that get in the mix with okay. how the antenna works? No problem. So the loop on ground is a, what we call, um, uh, it, it uses the magnetic portion of the radio wave to, to, to pick okay. up the signal. Yeah. So unlike uh, a normal antenna, so a vertical mm -hmm. or a, a long wire or an MFED half wave, anything like that, yeah. this is basically rejecting all of that electrical noise and all the electrical signal. Oh, wow. And it only picks up the magnetic portion of the wave. So when you place this on the ground mm -hmm. and you place the loop on the ground, yeah. it's ignoring or rejecting all of that local electrical, uh, electrical noise that's being produced okay. by TVs, microwaves, iPads, chargers, all that kind of <laughs> yeah, stuff. all the stuff it, that's around It rejects home. that, yeah. and it just picks up the magnetic portion of the radio wave. Oh, wow. So almost 
grabbing out the wanted signal rather than the un unwanted signals Absolutely, that we do yeah. experience um, at home um, coming from all our, our little wool warts and like you That's say, right. all yeah. the little chargers and whatnot. Yeah. Um, amazing. And so I know you brought something special um, for us to demonstrate <laughs> it. Um, so this is a shortened, a lot shorter. A lot shorter, version. yeah. <laughs> so normally 60 feet or 100 feet they're available in. Um, but this is what the loop would look like on the ground. And if I grab one of these, um, the thought that's gone into it. So you might see here that we've got a couple of holes. Um, well, it just so happens they're the same diameter as a uh, or, or width as a, a peg. So what you would do is you would pop that through the holes and then you can actually peg this down to the ground. Um, so I like that because yeah, so I, 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 when I put mine together and we did one yesterday, um, it was like, ah, oh, that's what they're for. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and they're yeah. for the holes. Uh, and you can also, if you're mounting this, um, say you're up against a fence or something like that, yeah, you can mount this this way up and oh, you can place okay. some screws through here and, and screw it into a wooden fence and then drop your loop down and around. And if you're on a concrete surface or a hard surface, yeah. you can just put a brick or something on top of it if you don't want it moving around. Awesome. So, so if we set this up here then, yep. our imaginary loop on the ground. Um, so one goes one side, one goes the other. And then all you do, you feed out the wire until you get to one of these little bumps, uh, which I'm assuming is just a piece of heat shrink. Yeah, it's a piece of marine grade glue yep. lined heat shrink, so it's not going to move. And then what you do, when you get to that section, you just go 90 degrees. And then you get to the other section and you just go 90 degrees. And then 90 degrees and there you go. And then you connect it up. So these give you the markers of when to stop. That's right. Turn yep. 90 degrees. All pre-measured. And hopefully you should come back to the <laughs> transformer yeah, itself. Yeah. Um, and then simply remove the wing nuts, remove the washer on there and connect it up. Put your coax on. Now, what I experienced when I set one of these up at home, um, again, we're saying it lowers your, your noise floor. Yep. And it did exactly that. So I, I use a, a 101, Yaesu 101 MP at home, yep. um, using the Heil headphones. And I had my transmit antenna in one ear. And then I had this connected to the RX on the back of the radio. Yep. And I had that in my other ear. Ear, perfect and i could actually hear the band changing over yeah. time uh between uh the, the the two headphones um and then i was switching between the two and um although the signals were lower it was so much clearer yeah um now you told me something quite interesting this morning which i didn't try and you told me the reasons why in regard to using your preamp that's right. So, so with the loop on ground, mm -hmm. um, you will find the signals coming in a lower. Mm -hmm. So if you're listening to uh, a signal that is perhaps S9 on a vertical, uh, on the loop on ground, that signal might be an S4, it might be an S5. But on the loop on ground, your noise floor should be down at about an S1 or maybe even a zero, you know, just, just nice That's and quiet. That's what I found, uh, yeah. Whereas on your vertical, yeah. your noise floor might be an S7, an S8, if you're somewhere really noisy. So what we're really interested in with the loop on ground and the performance and, and measuring its effectiveness is not how strong the signals are it's receiving, yeah. but it's the difference in the signal level between the noise floor and the signal level. So it's the, it. it's the signal to noise ratio that we're interested in. And having one of these yeah. in a noisy environment really increases that. So it makes uh, a station that might have been uh, a 3 dB signal to yeah. noise, just about listenable to on SSB, just about make it out with the loop on ground. Yeah. The signal might be lower, but the SNR will probably be 6 dB, 9 dB, much stronger, much clearer, so you can hear them better. But, uh, and you can also yeah. pop the, pop the uh, preamp on in the radio with this because that noise floor is lower. Yeah. You can pop the radio's preamp on and just lift it up a little bit if you want to match them and make the signals higher. Amazing, and that's exactly what I did at home without the preamp. So it's been a learning day for me with Matt um, in as much as, um, as you explained, because it's listening for the magnetic signals yep. and rejecting all the electronic 
or the electric rubbish field, yeah. that we don't really want to uh, listen to and interfere with our signals. If you use the preamplifier on your radio, you're not just amplifying everything. That's it, yeah. And then having to use your DNR or whatever to try and filter it out. So because this has got good selectivity on the wanted signal frequency that you're on, you can then use the preamp, which I'm going to try because I haven't yep. tried that yet. You can then use the preamp, but you're only preamping the wanted signal. Yeah, you're preamping less of the electrical noise um, and more of the more magnetic of, signal More of that what you, you need. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to try that Excellent. one. Excellent. Yeah, give it a try. <laughs> when I get home. Um, so uh, explain to me, what, what does this come with? When you buy it, what, what, what do you get? Okay, no problem. So you've got several options. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy the loop on ground transformer on its own. Mm -hmm. Um, which has everything you need for just hooking it up to the radio mm -hmm. and you can add your own element. Okay, cool. Um, so you don't have to buy the element. You can mm -hmm. just, if you've got some wire laying around and you oh, want great. to want to yeah. make your own and put your own terminals on, you can do that. Perfect. Um, the loop on ground transformer comes in two flavors. Uh -huh. It comes in the SO239 yeah. and it comes with a BNC as well. So some people like to use BNC yeah. for their receive uh, path. Others like to use the SO. Yeah. You can also purchase the actual loop itself. This mm -hmm. is obviously a very small version of the loop. <laughs> um, but the loops come in 60 foot or 100 foot variants. And with those, you can either make a 15 foot per side loop or yeah. a 25 foot per side loop. Uh, the 60 foot one is good for kind of 40 meters and higher. Uh, if you've got the space, the 100 foot one will give you really good performance down on 80 and better on 160 as well. Brilliant. Um, all the loops come marked uh -huh. with a tiny, uh, tiny little marker so we know what size they are. Uh, they come with pre-terminated tables with marine grade blue I was going to say that because literally they're ready to rock and roll. They're all ready the to go. And uh, every loop, so the 15, uh, the, the, the 60 foot loop, comes with these markers every 15 the magic foot corners and the 100 foot loop comes with these martyrs every 25 foot so you, like you said you can just lay it on the ground walk up to a marker and away, and you, away go. you go um, you also don't actually need to lay it in a perfect square okay so if you haven't got a perfect square it can go out um, you'll find that in in a square mm -hmm. you get relatively omnidirectional performance oh, okay um, with a slight gain to the opposite corners of where the transformer where is the transformer is yeah okay. so very slight gain to the opposite corners yeah. nothing really noticeable uh, the more you change it from a square the more wonky the radiation <laughs> pattern will become um, but it will still work for you yeah uh, and along with that you'll get some ground pegs as well to peg, yeah, to peg, the peg it down to soft down. ground. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, and what's the history of this particular antenna, uh, you know, go, going back? Because obviously it's not something we've invented, you've no, invented. No, absolutely not. It, it, yeah. It's been around, obviously you've That's put right. your, your tweaks and your secret sauce, That's as it, you say. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what, what's the history of the actual antenna? So originally this was invented by uh, KK5JY, mm -hmm. and um, he basically came up with the idea of using this magnetic loop on the ground uh, to reduce RF noise. Um, when I looked into, um, so I have quite a, quite a noisy environment where I live. <laughs> um, um, it's typically, <laughs> typically on 40 meters, it's kind of S9 plus 10 constantly. Okay. It's, yeah. it's very, very noisy. Um, so I looked into these and I, I started building them about five years ago. Yeah. Started tweaking them, adjusting the design, finding out, you know, I did lots of experiments on wire thickness uh -huh. and different types of cores, um, different sizes, different directions. And that's how I ended up with where I am now, Amazing. a product that I'm very happy with, yeah. really happy to put my name to, really happy to kind of push out there and, and just, you know, it's a, a great device for just getting rid of that noise. Oh, that's really interesting on the, on the history of the actual antenna. Yeah. What I actually did yesterday, me and Henry headed over to the park and I actually laid out one of these. Um, obviously my garden's quite small, so it was the, yeah. this was the first time I've managed to put it out as a square. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna cut to that now and you can see me um, putting out the antenna as it should be and uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, well whilst we got Matt in the showroom, what I'm gonna do, we're out in the park and I'm gonna show you how you set up one of the Omni RF's loops on the ground. So first thing we need to do is make sure I've got a peg for the transformer itself. And I've got 60 feet of wire here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start over here and I'm gonna take the peg, pop it in the holes on the top of the transformer. And then I'm gonna see if I can push it in the ground. 
Okay, all we need to do now is we're going to add some wire, one either side of the transformer. Now, the good thing that Matt's thought about when he designed and built this is it's got a nice little trick up its sleeve in as much as each corner of the ground loop has got a little marking on the cable. Um, so you know that that is where to turn 90 degrees to create the square. Okay, so we're nearly finished. Look at that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to one side, okay? So we're going to undo the little wing nut and then we're just going to do it up. Doesn't have to be tight, just finger tight. And then we're going to grab the other end and then we're going to pop it on this side. And if you've got long grass, just do this before you put it down. We're quite lucky here. The grass has been cut. Right, that's all connected to the transformer. Now we'll, what we're going to do is going to come out 90 degrees and we're going to gently pull the wire until we feel a little bump in the wire. And here it is. So this little bit of um, heat shrink that's on the edge here, that denotes where we need to turn. So now what we can do is we can now pull gently to create our square. And then we keep on going until we feel another little bump in the wire, which I've just felt there. This is the second bump that we found that denotes the second corner. And we're gonna lay that down. And then we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna pull gently to make our square. And here it is. There's them a little bit of heat shrink. So you may not see it, because it is quite a stealth antenna. But down here, we've now got our transformer where we would connect our coax to. And then it goes in a square all the way around. This is the 60 feet one. And we also do a hundred feet one. So that's how easy it is to set up. No more than a minute. And uh, hopefully you'll get some nice signals with this loop on the ground. But what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to Matt in the showroom. OK, there you go. You saw how simple that was. It took less than a minute uh, and, and, and that was me doing it. So it doesn't take very long to deploy. No, it, not at all. Um, no. At all. And all, all you've got to do then is just connect your coax and, and then uh, and then have a have a listen. Remember, though, that this is just a receive antenna. You, you can't TX on it. So just a caveat there. Don't go putting power through it because yeah. uh, it's not going to be very happy. <laughs> um, one of the other things that we had a brief chat off air was about use cases where yeah. this can be used. Obviously, it's great um, for our normal operation of um, working people all over the world and being able to hear them. What other cases have you come up with that um, this can be used in? OK, yeah. So we've covered kind of urban and suburban mm -hmm. kind of stations for lowering your received noise floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good for low band DXing. So if you've got the space to lay out that 100 foot, you know, 25 yeah. foot per side, really good for low band DXing, really mm -hmm. kind of cuts the noise down there as well. Um, it's also very good for general shortwave listening. So if you've got uh, an SDR play or you've got uh, a shortwave okay. receiver, yeah. Uh, because it is so low impact, it's mm -hmm. almost invisible when it's on the floor. You know, if you've got perhaps a family that isn't keen on wires or neighbours that and, are a bit difficult up with it, yeah, 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 we've all experienced that. Lay it on the that, floor, and you'll get full shortwave coverage from this, no problem at all. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and really useful for that. Um, the other situations that you can use it in mm -hmm. are uh, if you've got a remote station. Right, okay. So remote stations are becoming more and more popular. Yeah. So if you've got a remote station, a dedicated receive antenna, and again, because it's on the floor, all pegged down, you haven't got to worry about high winds knocking things over and things falling That's down. That's a good idea. I haven't so thought about that one. it's quite useful for that as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, lots of different use cases for it. Okay, I think we've covered everything today. It's certainly uh, an amazing bit of kit um, for pretty much everybody, shortwave listeners and people that talk to people all over the world. Uh, but thank you ever so much for coming do yeah. down and sharing certainly selling very well. Um, if you need any information, just put loop on the ground in our search uh, on our website. And if you need any help, all the guys here are always here ready to help. So um, thanks for coming down, Matt. Thank you for having me. And we'll catch you very soon. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next week. Take care. Bye bye.